So today we're back out here on Verhunga, and I kind of wanted to start setting up for a couple of different things that I want to start kind of grinding for on this map. So one of them is a male diamond gems bug, and I recently have shot a couple of level 5 males that just didn't quite make it, and one of them was a beige color, which was really unfortunate, but actually, the other main animal I've been grinding for on Verhunga is Cape Buffalo, and this guy might uh, help us with respawns, and actually... That one's also max weight, so I guess we can kind of work on that as we go, but I wanted to start down here uh, for actually both Gemsbuck and Lion, because other than the Cape Buffalo and Gemsbuck that I've mentioned, I want to go for Lion, and I'm mainly interested in getting like an albino or a dark brown one, because I really want to get that for the royalty multi-mount, because I've got, I think, actually two royalty multi-mounts set up, and one of them is just a normal diamond, and I think I want to get one of the other rares. Because the rare lions look really, really cool. But I'd like to get... That guy. Just kind of get him out of the way. And we'll go and claim everything, and then set up our tripod. But I have a tripod somewhere down there for lions when we were hunting them with the bow. And I think I'm going to go and grab that and move it elsewhere. But I want a tripod kind of up on this hill so I can just get to this spot shoot any lion or gemsbuck that are here, and then kind of move to the other spots. But that actually wasn't bad. There were two max weight estimate Cape Buffalo kind of just standing there. Actually, two pretty decent golds. And the one thing that could be an issue is if this tripod is not the same, like, color variation or whatever of the one that I'm carrying, we won't be able to actually move that. And I don't mind leaving it there. It would just be nice to have some extra ones because I only have, I think, 10 with me. And I don't know if we'll need them all or not, but... That's going to be our new spot for Gemsbuck and Lion Grinding. Ah, uh, yeah, so that is, I guess, one of the other, like, camouflage types for the tripod, so I can't actually move that, but I guess that'll just be a bow hunting spot. But we're going to get this Gemsbuck, and then I think I want to go maybe to this lake down here, because I used to have a tent here, and it's a really good spot for just Gemsbuck and Warthog, and actually a lot of the other smaller animals as well. But I moved that tent maybe when I was doing Cape Buffalo, or I'm not actually sure when. But I want to go get one down there, and I'll probably put a tripod at this lake as well. Because it's really good for Gimsbuck too. So I think we'll probably want to get that guy. Pretty sure he's the best four here right now. And kind of nice of him to turn into that, but... I don't know why I've never put a tripod here. I guess it's because you don't really need one. And apparently that's not open enough, but... Maybe from up here would kind of give us a really good view of everything that's in this particular zone. And honestly, I should probably put one kind of down there as well, because there's a pretty good sized zone for Gemsbuck across the lake there. And while we're here, I guess we should do that. But our four was just a silver, and we're going to just drop right off of there. But should be like right over in here where we can start to see Gemsbuck again. And just for the sake of like saving hunting pressure and stuff and because it does tend to be a good spot, I think it would make sense to set up a tripod, but I'm starting to wonder if maybe I don't have any over here? Okay, so there's one over there anyway. I don't know if like maybe setting up the tripod spooked them? Because this is usually a really good spot, like I've seen 20-30 Gemsbuck over there on some multiplayer servers, but at least since we know they do hang out over there, we'll leave a tripod there and then maybe like when we come back next time and we're not setting stuff up, maybe there'll be more there. But at least the good thing, like, while we're kind of just setting everything up and taking some of these guys out, we can be working on respawns as we go. But, yeah, we'll just kind of fast travel to the lodge here and then just walk down. We actually might be able to get both Gemsbuck in this zone because they're pretty spaced out. I think if we shoot the closer one first, the farther one probably won't hear the shot. So that's him, and yeah, this guy doesn't know anything happened. So we'll just, I guess, harsh shot him, and I guess there's even some Warthog that don't know about it, but to be able to carry the tents and the tripods, I can only get one gun, and of course that's the 300, because I want to be able to get lions once the Gimmis Buck are done drinking, but if we can just kind of get a tent up here on the flat, there was a spot there for a second, but we'll just do it there. And I want the tripod kind of in the middle, because sometimes you get Gemsbuck drinking down at the other side as well. Maybe just kind of right up top there, because then we can see 
pretty much everything. Actually, I guess I spooked some. Maybe setting that up, so... If they'll stop, might try to get one of those two. I'm not too sure about the others, but for whatever reason, just this guy came back, so... We'll get him for respawns as well, because, again, this is a good spot, so... I definitely want to make sure I get as many as I can, but... It's actually one of the few spots that I've gotten a Diamond Mail Guns Buck, so... Maybe there's even more reason to get respawns. But yeah, I mean, that guy in 2 level 4 is definitely isn't bad for down here. And it's actually almost 8 o'clock, so we're pretty well through Gemsbuck drink time already. And my plan is to just kind of go ahead and change the time to 12, and for the rest of this, just kind of set up maybe areas where we'd find both, but kind of focus on lions since they can actually be drinking. I don't know why I was thinking over 240 was gold for them. That kind of confused me, but where is the other one? Because that would have been the one that we didn't drop, I think. Okay, so I've never seen that happen where you don't fast travel. But you can see it says confirmed trophy there, so if we were to try to collect that, it would just crash our game. And I guess we're gonna go without that one, but I don't really know why that happened. Anyway, let's go ahead and change the time. So that's not something I considered, but going up this way actually allows us to get a bonus gems buck, which I would guess those probably drink at the lake we're going to. And that's this one here, so Lions and Gemsbuck use this. And really, I just kind of went from down here up just so we'd give Lions time to get into their zones, but... I mean... Likely, I would say that the Gemsbuck drink there, and that's just a bonus respawn. And of course, just a silver, but... Like I said, good to get that bonus respawn. And I do have this tripod here. I actually can't remember if you can see the lake from it at all. But it's probably another one of the ones that are like the different camouflage, so I probably can't even move it. I guess you can kind of see from there though, so maybe I just need a tent here. Actually, I guess if this guy's down here, I'm going to need a second tripod, because you just can't see this end of the lake. Like, from down there where I have the other tripod, so I think I'll just kind of put one probably pretty much where we're standing, and then I'll just kind of get the tent in the middle, so that way we can go to either side. That's a little bit unfortunate, literally 0.1 below gold for our lion, but I think the next spot I want to go to is the Central Savannah here. It's not that far a run from the lodge, but I don't really see a good reason to not put a tent there. So just a little female lion here, but I actually want those for respawns as well. And actually, just do that. But yeah, if you're wondering like why I'm doing certain things, like where the tripods are being set up, or the tent set up, or any of that stuff, I have a guide for like making different setups for grinding different species. And I would definitely recommend checking that out, because I explain a lot of that stuff in that guide. But yeah, like I said, I mean, I think in the Trophy Lodge tour I mentioned I wanted like three more rare female lions, which is going to take forever. But definitely any of these we can get to kind of work towards that is a good thing. That's actually kind of cool, just a beige Gemsbuck showing out here, so I think we'll try to get that really quickly. Hopefully we didn't get any kind of weird shoulder blade or anything. But I wanted to go to this lake, which... It's actually good for Lion and Gemsbuck both again, and I've had tripods set up there for a long time, but for whatever reason, that's another one that I just don't have a tent at, so I definitely want to get one there, and I think we probably shot far enough away that any lions that use this lake probably didn't hear it, because they're usually on the far end, but again, obviously just a silver for level 3 Gemsbuck, and I'm expecting to at least have a lion here, but sometimes I get them like on both sides, but there's definitely one back in there. And just another level 6, but we'll get him and then I'm not sure about the setup for this lake. Because I think Gemsbuck kind of used the entire thing, whereas, like I said, lions are usually only on that side. But that should be a long hit. Yeah, he's going to go down quick. And I don't know, like, maybe over here is good? I think what I'll do actually is put the tent kind of far away. Because if you end up going to watching that setup guide, one thing that I'll talk about is the fact that you want your tent at least like 150 meters from any of the animals. Because if you're too close, the animals basically don't spawn. They're kind of like invisible till you walk away. And as long as the tent's far, we'll be fine to have the tripod a little closer. And we'll at least try this side. Ooh. That's definitely a gold gems buck. And dark fur type as well, so we'll try to get him. I just literally almost set up the tent, and I thought I'd grab my binoculars and check, like, down in that open area. 
I'm glad I did, because that'll be another one for respawns, but I'll actually set up the tripod first so I don't forget. Yeah, definitely not bad. I thought he must have been close to, like, the higher estimate. And he's literally 1.2 from being the higher estimate, because it's 307 to 358 for the top one. So that guy's definitely one to hopefully be a good respawn. I don't really see anything else out this way, so we'll go get our lion. And just another silver, unfortunately, but I'm kind of pretty happy with the setup at the moment. I'd like to do something for this lake, but just the way that the terrain is and stuff around there, I'm not really sure that one's going to work. And it is pretty close to the lodge to just kind of spawn there and walk over, but I want to go back to where we started and actually check and see if that first tripod is good for lions, because I know it'll be good for Gemsbuck, but sometimes where the lions drink, like down in the reach, you can't see them. So I want to see if this one's going to work. So it's definitely fine for when they're kind of out in the open, but I'm not sure, like, it might actually help when they're down in there, but let's just get her. And I'm kind of wondering if, like, maybe my respawns just haven't happened yet, but... No, there is another one somewhere. I was just thinking about this on my way down here, too. Like, there's so many jackal up here, and they always drink on that far side, so it wouldn't be a big deal to actually get some of them and maybe try to get respawns for rare or diamond ones, because I've only gotten two diamonds ever, and I've got one in, like, the new trophy lodge, but... Right now, I don't really have the proper gun for them. But I think what might make sense is to just kind of leave a tripod right down here by the edge of the water and shoot them maybe after I do some lion grinding. Because that would also help with clearing pressure for other areas. So I'm probably going to do that because there's so many. I feel like if I kept working on that, we could definitely get some rares and diamonds out of that. So I think I'll just leave the tripod there and go ahead and grab our female lion. But... I don't know which lion actually made that sound. Maybe it was her, but I was sure I heard another one. So I don't really know what the deal is, but that's what I was thinking. Like, usually there's three or four lions over here, and right now we only had the one. But it might actually just take a little while for respawns. I don't remember the last time I was here, but anyway, I think this is definitely going to work. And I'm pretty happy with the setup we have right now, because I've been wanting to kind of start grinding for a male diamond gemsbuck and... I keep saying that I'm going to do like the line grind and just I haven't really done it but now that we have the setup I think that's actually something I can start working on but not a bad hunt we actually got a good number of Gemsbuck and lions and actually those couple of Cape Buffalo at the beginning for respawns and maybe one of those will turn into one of the things that we're actually after so yeah that's going to do it for this video so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.